Hey everybody, this is Jimmy, and you're watching Jimmy America Photo because your last video looked like this. Am I right? Eh? Eh? This year, Violet LeBeau and I have decided to focus a little bit more on YouTube. We live in an apartment in the city that has natural light that comes in for about three hours every day. So we can either film for three hours every day, or we could spend a little bit of money and upgrade our lighting system. The latter seemed like a better choice. And today our package finally came! Hooray! I figured while it's here and it's all boxed up, we'd do a quick unboxing video because for some reason people like to see other people opening packages on YouTube. And then we do a really quick review on what we've got here. So for some stats, we got this from ImageRays underscore Go on eBay. ImageRays is a lighting and camera accessory store based in Sydney, Australia. We ordered these lights Tuesday night, so the order was probably placed around Wednesday morning. It's Monday morning and they just got here, so four or five business days to get from Sydney, Australia to Melbourne, that's not so bad. Especially because it's such a giant ass package. We've got three lights here, all up cost $170, well $169.95, and free shipping, so that's a plus. But whenever they say free shipping on eBay, you know it's just built into the cost. It's still something that I fall for every time though. <laughs> I'm a sucker for deals. I keep buying $1 cappuccinos from 7-Eleven and I hate coffee. The three lights put out a combined 2,875 watts. I have a theory that these lights, although they came from Sydney, are actually going to say Cowboy Studio on it. And Cowboy Studio is a company that sells lighting gear out of Houston, Texas, who get their lights from China. So I have a theory that I went from China to Houston, Texas, to Sydney, Australia, to here. Now the key to any great unboxing video is a good, sharp box cutting knife. Do I have one? Yes. Do I know where it is? Of course not. So instead I'm going to use this kitchen knife. Now kids, don't try this at home, and if you do, make sure it's with Parental supervision. Do you think that's enough, like, legal... Mm. Scissors are for suckers! You don't open a box with scissors, you open it with a knife! When you cut off a finger, I'm not taking you to the hospital. That's fine. I'll look cool while I'm doing it. Knives are not cool. Oh, awesome! This tape says, Repaired by Australia Post, and it's all over it. That's a good sign. I'm really looking forward to this. At least there isn't, like, any really breakable glass in it. Oh, wait, light bulbs. Like, 700 light bulbs. It even says fragile here. Oh, and it says made in China. We're one step closer to me being right. If you're going to use a knife and look cool while doing it, make sure you do it away from you. Go away, puppy. I don't want to cut your nose off. That would be really mad at me. <laughs> Cowboy Studio. Who called it? What? What? So as you can see, all the lights come in this very nifty small little carrying case. Dwayne Buck says that once it's all unpacked, it's going to take a lot of effort to actually get it to fit back into this case. Neat. Whew. Okay. So basically what we've got here is a three light, three softbox system. Now when you're starting out with video lighting, three lights is really, I would say it's a must, but it's definitely a great starting point. You can get away with one or two lights if you want to go for a more dramatic kind of look, but with three lights you have your key light, you have a fill light, and then you have a background light, or you have a key light, a background light, and a hair light, or you can get all kinds of crazy and have like a key light and then two side lights. You can do all kinds of things with three lights. With one or two lights, you're gonna get a more dramatic look because your subject will be lit, but your background won't necessarily be lit as well. So all we've got are two of these stands from Cowboy Studio. How right was I? I do like these lighting stands because they're the clip kind. Hopefully they'll be strong enough to hold up a softbox. Then our third lighting stand is a little bit more robust which is good news because it has a boom arm attached to it. And this is like twice the thickness of the other ones. Very sturdy construction. It's spring-loaded and it comes with a clamp. The boom arm, it only has one level of adjustment, but that's all right. And a counterweight bag, which is a nice surprise. I didn't actually think that we were going to get the counterweight bag. Then we've got two lighting heads here, which have five light bulbs each. Each one comes with a fuse, which is great, so you have to go out and get one. And on the back, it's very simple. You've just got a switch for each of the bulbs. So you can get five levels of power out of the same system. Excellent. Australian power cords. This is so important when you're looking at things on eBay. Make sure that it comes with your country's 
not only voltage or wattage, but also the right plug. We've got three soft boxes. Unfortunately, two of them are the hard to set up ones. You've got your soft box, your inner baffle, and your outer diffuser, and then four of these fiddly metal rods. And basically the metal rods slot into these through the soft box and hold everything in shape. The third type of soft box we have are the easy soft boxes. And they basically just open up by pushing this little ring into the middle here. There you go and tightening that up. The reason that one's different to the other ones is because it's only got one level of power, so it's on or off, and the bulb is so much bigger than the other one. Look at that. So it won't actually put out as much light, and you can't change the amount of light, but for a hair light, that's all you need. As an added bonus, all the soft boxes come with their own little bag. All right, let's get this stuff set up and see how much of it actually works. Okay, very first time setting one of these up. Never done it before in my life. Let's see how long it takes to do it. And go. And 12 minutes and 52 seconds. Whew. Now I hope that I'm actually gonna get faster at this the more practice that I have. And a word of warning, the light bulb head around the edge, very sharp. One of my friends actually has a very similar setup. He warned me about it, but apparently he didn't warn me good enough. Let's see if this bad boy works. Okay, moment of truth here, people. And to be honest, I am super nervous. Step one, plug me in. Yeah! Power lights on back here, so that's good news. At least it didn't like explode or send sparks shooting out of my power plug. Now let's try turning one of them on. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. Woo! I'm happy with that. Woo! Okay, so that's one setup, and actually it's working pretty well. There are a couple of things that I'd like to mention though. You may or may not have noticed during the setup that I did that I put my hand in a t-shirt when it came time to install the light bulbs. Even though they're fluorescent bulbs and they won't get that hot, whenever you're working with light bulbs, it's a good idea to have your hands covered when you're installing them and not to touch the bare bulb itself. This is because your hand has a whole bunch of oils on it, and over time those oils will heat up on the lamp surface as the bulb heats up, and one day that can cause it to go <laughs> So by covering my hands with a clean shirt, a glove would have made more sense, I'm able to prolong the life of my bulbs. While I'm on the subject of bulbs, I've noticed that the block says for photography lighting. This is good news for me because some bulbs flicker so fast that the human eye doesn't notice. But sometimes if you're using these as a photography light, you can pick it up on a really fast shutter speed. They do make non-flicker bulbs specifically for photography, and I'm really hoping that that's what these are. One last thing about the bulbs, these are a color temperature of 5,000 to 500K. Color temperature is something that I'm not going to get to in right now, but I will get to when I do my actual video on using these lights for video and photography. But to cut a long story short, 5,500 is actually a little on the cool side, and that means that if I'm balancing these with sunlight, which is usually very warm, it can be a little tricky. So if you're planning on ordering some video lights, make sure you think about the color temperature first. So to sum up, I got these from ImageRays underscore Go on eBay.com.au. The price was 170 bucks, free shipping. That gave me two regular softboxes, one hair light softbox, three stands, and a boom arm. Two of the softboxes have variable power, but are a pain in the ass to set up. I cut my thumb a little. It took about five business days to get here, but I'm pretty happy with them. $170 for a kit that would have been at least double that in a store here. Good value for money. That's all for now. I'm gonna see if I can set up these other two lights. Thank you for joining me on my first unboxing video ever. If you're interested in photography, subscribe to catch my weekly photography series in which I explain things in the very basic, simplest terms. And thanks for watching. See you next time.